Hello everyone, you're watching PokerNews.com and welcome back to our coverage of the World Series of Poker. I'm with Griffin Benger. We did this in 2014, yes. had kind of a deep, deep run in the WSOP main event. Looks like you're stacking up pretty nicely at the moment also. So before we get into GPL and all your new life, tell us what's going on in the main. Yeah, I mean, I've had a steady incline the entire tournament. It's been going really, really well. Um, you know, I only had 70,000 after day one, which is still very respectable. And then just got the right table draw, got the right feeling, all the timing was right. I was really in the zone on day two and I uh, finished the day with nearly 400,000. And after two levels here, I'm up near around 700. So I just seem to be, uh, I don't really dip at all. Like I've, I've sort of dodged a couple of cooler spots with some big hands where I've only lost one or two streets where I think a lot of other players may have lost a bit more. And I think that's really the key is uh, when you do get cooler to, to, to lose the minimum. And I've just been able to do that all tournament long. But I know that these things don't happen in a straight line. I've learned that the hard way many times. So I'm expecting the drop off eventually, but I'm going to keep a cool head and, uh, and know that that's just uh, that's part of the process. Well, you haven't dipped per se yet, but I do right. see you getting up out of your seat all the time, which you say now is part, part, of, your, part of your game, part of your body game. So tell me, what, what are these things you're implementing to, to keep your head straight? Yeah, I just have one of those minds that won't ever shut the hell up. So um, sometimes I just need to move my body to kind of like be in sync with that, with my thoughts, I think. And uh, listening to music really helps. It's just really long days. And especially when you, when you have one of those ADHD scattered brains that, that's used to playing like up to 20 tables on the internet and just like from my gaming background and everything, I think it's important uh, to distract yourself to not play too many hands, but not so much that you're not paying attention to what's going on. So uh, sometimes I just like to get up and move around a little bit, shadow box a little bit, maybe uh, just make some make some waves and just uh, be like water, man. I love it, dude. Or you can just take Adderall either way. Just kidding, don't do that. <laughs> thank you so much. I'll I've give you a down that road. No, no thank you anymore. We're off, we're off the sauce. Griffin Venture, I'm Sarah Herring. You're with us on pokernews.com.